Hello everyone, my name is Allie Sorley and I'm the Education Outreach Coordinator at the Alabama Museum of Natural History. And this is your Bama Bug Fest on the web insect sound project. We are going to make a whirly, twirly, buzzing insect project. And it's gonna sound a little something like this. So what do you say? Do you wanna make your own insect project? I think so. Let's get started. So for our whirly twirly insect project, we are gonna need the following supplies. So we will need a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor. The thicker ones are the ones that we need, the wider ones, not the thinner ones. The thinner ones won't work as well. You will also need a couple of note cards or pieces of cardstock that are about the size of a note card, which is about three inches by four inches. We will also need string. You can use yarn, you can use string. Um, it would be best if it was just um, a little bit on the sturdy and thicker side. So maybe not string that you would, or thread that you would use to sew with, but something a little thicker. This is some yellow, um, almost kite string, and this works pretty well. But I've also used yarn, and yarn worked really, really well. You'll also need a thick rubber band. The, the wider ones, again, on this project will work much better than the narrower, thinner ones. And you will need scissors. Now make sure that you have permission to use the scissors, or if you have trouble using scissors, you can get an adult to help you with them. And you'll need some tape. Just regular old Scotch tape works great. And then finally, you will need something to color with. Now I'm using crayons on mine, but if you have markers or colored pencils, those work, both work really well too. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna do so you're gonna take one of your index cards and we are going to cut the corners of our index cards off on the side. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna cut little triangles out of the corners of our index card or piece of cardstock if that's what you're using so that it looks like this. It doesn't have to be precise necessarily, but as close to equal as you can get. Now the next thing that we're gonna do sounds like it would probably be one of the last things that we're gonna do, but because of the way that we put our insect project together, it would be difficult to do this part at the end. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna decorate our insect flyer next. Now for my insect flyer, I made my insect flyer into a bumblebee and I made it look like the abdomen of a bumblebee. Now, you can make yours look like lots of different kinds, and I'll talk about those in a little bit, but what we'll do to start with is I'll show you how to make this bumblebee one, and then we'll let your creativity take off later, much like our insect will. All right, so I'm gonna get two crayons that work well for bumblebees, which are my yellow and my black one. And much like many bumblebees, my bumblebee abdomen is gonna have stripes on it. So I'm gonna take my black crayon and I'm gonna draw kind of thick stripes across the abdomen of this bumblebee. And then I'm gonna color them in a pattern, black, yellow, black, yellow, in an alternating pattern. And alternating just means that it changes, black, yellow, black, yellow. So let's go ahead and get started with mine. I think I'm gonna start mine off with yellow. All right, there we go. There is my bumblebee abdomen. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to take another one of my index cards and I'm gonna fold it in half. Oops, I got two. 
I'm gonna fold it in half, hamburger style. And I'm gonna keep that folded edge, the one that doesn't come apart, I'm gonna keep the folded edge close to me. Now I'm gonna take that crayon again, probably my black crayon, or you can use a pencil or pen or whatever you have. And I'm gonna make the shape that I wanna use for the wings of my bumblebee. Now in the one that I made before, my wings were kind of like ears almost, or shaped similarly to ears. But really what they are is a kind of funky sort of C shape. And I'll show you how to make that. So again, I'm gonna keep the closed part of my card facing me. And then I'm just gonna draw this kind of weird long C shape. So, so you can, if you can see my C shape goes up and it's really long, but it doesn't close into a circle at the end. We wanna make sure that at the end of this, there's still an opening and that's gonna be where our wings are attached. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut my wing shape out. And as I'm cutting this, I am not going to throw away what is left of my insect wing card and I'll show you why in a little bit. But I'm just gonna set this off to the side because we're gonna use that later. So now when I open them up, ta-da! I have great bumblebee wings. Now, if you look at pictures of bumblebee wings online, you'll notice that bumblebees, as well as many, many other insects, have these great veins on their wings. So I wanna draw these veins on my wings so that my bumblebee looks like what a bumblebee should look like. My veins are not very good today. They're looking a little bit like spider webs, but that's okay. All right. And then, ta-da, we have some bumblebee wings. So now I'm gonna take my bumblebee abdomen and my bumblebee wings, and I'm gonna put them together and I'm going to take my tape and tape my bumblebee wings where they're folded. Put a piece of tape over that. And I'm gonna tape it in the center of my bumblebee abdomen, just like this. Make sure that tape sticks. And then, I'm gonna fold these wings up a little bit around the piece of this tape so that they look like they're flying but that they're not taking the tape up. So they're gonna be kind of square in the middle. But that's just so that the tape won't come up. Okay, great. So now our next part of our craft is gonna use our popsicle stick, our tongue depressor. So we're gonna take our abdomen and we are gonna attach it to our popsicle stick. And when you attach your, to your popsicle stick, you want it to go about halfway up your popsicle stick, not all the way up. So you wanna still be able to see about half of your popsicle stick, not nothing, and not a lot of it, about half of it when you tape it. Now what's gonna happen is, we're gonna tape this popsicle stick, or I'm sorry, we're gonna tape our abdomen to our popsicle stick by laying it down on there, kind of holding it with your finger, grabbing a nice long piece of tape, and you're just gonna tape the top, just like that. If any of your tape kind of hangs over the top, that's okay. You can just sort of smooth it down over the edge. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the edges of my abdomen are all covered in tape too, so that they don't fly up. Okay. I'm going to wrap my little tape around the back of my stick and there we go. So now we have the next part of our insect flyer. Just like that. Okay. So now the next part actually includes the paper that you have left over from your insect wings. So we're going to recycle this paper because it's a great part for our next one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda make a cut here so that this part um, is saved for my, my insect wings. Now, if your insect wings took up more of your pops of your paper and you don't have a lot left to use over, that is a-okay. You can just take another um, index card and you can use that by cutting it into strips long ways 
about the width of your thumb, maybe a little bit more, about the width of your thumb. And you can take that and what we're gonna do with either your piece that you have left over from your wings or the piece that you cut from your new one, you are gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then fold it in half one more time. Now, if you can fold it in half one more time, that would be best. But if you can't do that, it should still work out okay, just like this. So you folded it in half and then you folded it in half and then you fold it in half one more time. And what we're gonna do with that one is we are going to tape it to our popsicle stick like this. So this one works better if I tape it the long way. I'm sorry, the kind of the short way, but yours might work better if you tape it the long way. You just kind of figure out what works best for your little piece. Okay, I'm also gonna do one little piece of tape right here just to make sure that it is secure and sticking on. Now you don't have to cover it completely in tape and I'll show you why in just a second. So now I'm gonna take the other piece that I had, which for me was the leftovers of my wings, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold it in half and in half and in half again. Oops, that was a long piece of tape. And I'm going to tape it to my popsicle stick. Just like that. So you should have two, just like that. Now, you, you want these to be kind of thick at the top, these little pads, because you want there to be a lot of space. Your rubber band is gonna be going around here, and you want there to be a lot of space between your popsicle stick and your rubber band. And these little parts right here are gonna keep that rubber band from being right on your popsicle stick. If there's no space between their popsicle stick and your rubber band, we won't get as great of a buzzing noise as we're hoping for. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of string. Now you want it to be oof, maybe about two feet long if you can. Um, you can, if you are needing some help cutting some string and knowing how long to cut it, go ahead and ask an adult and they should be able to help you out. So we're gonna cut a nice long piece of string. Oh my goodness, oh, my string got tangled, or my string was tangled up. All right, we are gonna cut a nice long piece, there we go, nice long piece of string, about two feet, two or three feet long. Now if you have string like mine, my string is, is it's nice and sturdy, but it's also a little thin and a little slippery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a knot in the end of my string. Now this might be another thing that you could get some help from an adult with if you've got trouble, um, if you're not quite sure how to tie knots or you have difficulty with knots, this might be a good one for you. Now I'm going to take this here and I'm going to put it on just one side of my flyer and I'm going to tape it down. I know there's a lot of tape in this one, but I'm going to tape it down just one of my little pads that we made on my flyer. I'm gonna make sure that it's secure. Now the reason we did the knot in their string is because when we pull on it, which will it'll end up being pulled on because we're gonna whirl it around in the air, the knot in my string will help the string to stay secure and not slip out. All right, our last step for our bumblebee insect buzzers is our rubber band. So now you're gonna take the rubber band and you're gonna stretch it from one side of the popsicle stick by the string all the way over to the other side of the popsicle stick. And you wanna make sure that it is sitting in the middle of your popsicle stick. There we go. Now you see there is a little bit of a gap between my popsicle stick and my um, rubber band and that is exactly what we're looking for. Now, if you are having trouble and you don't think that you have enough of a gap between your rubber band and your popsicle stick, you can go back and you can make another 
uh, piece of, of note card that you fold in half and half and half again. And you can add that and tape it to the top of your piece here. You can add it there. I would tape it in to make sure it's nice and secure. But you can do that and watch what happens. If you do that, then you'll have just a little bit more space between your rubber band and your popsicle stick. Now, if you got it pretty tall your first go around, then that's great. You probably won't have to do this again. But if you feel like you might need some more space, go ahead and um, make another block. Okay, so again, don't forget to tape down these second blocks. I'll tape down just a little bit here to make sure that they are secure. I'm gonna tape a little bit here to make them secure. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna make sure that my rubber band is right on the top of them. And there we have it. Our whirly twirly insect buzzing project. Let's test it out. Can you hear it? Oh, it's a good buzzing one. Now, when you are using your buzzing, whirly twirly buzzing insect project, make sure that you are whirling and twirling it in a safe place that's not near other people. Now these work really great outside. Um, maybe you can find some buzzing insects and, and stay a safe different distance from them, but maybe you can use your um, really twirly buzzy project um, around them and, and see if your buzzing sounds a lot like their buzzing. Um, if you're not able to see any buzzing insects uh, that you can use your project around, maybe you can find videos online of some buzzing insects and see how their buzzing sounds sound and see if yours is the same as theirs. Now remember, I mentioned before that I made mine look like a bee, but you can make your, yours look like a lot of other buzzing insects. So what insects can make sounds in lots of different ways. So sometimes insects will rub together parts of their body, like how grasshoppers will rub together the legs. Sometimes insects will thump or stamp or, or hit a a part of their body, either their foots or their um, heads, or maybe even the, the bottom of their abdomens. They'll hit it on uh, wood or ground or something to make a noise. Um, sometimes insects use their wings to make noise. They flap their wings really, really fast and that the wings help to make that buzzing noise that we know. Um, and sometimes, but not very often, um, some insects will push air out of their body to make some um, to make some noise. So you have lots of different options for your whirly twirly buzzing project. You can make it sound like, or you can make it look like any of these insects. Maybe you want yours to look like a cicada abdomen, or maybe you want yours to look like a wasp ab abdomen. The choice is yours. You can make anything. There are great things like flies. You can make it look like a fly one. Um, you can make it look like a, a dragonfly if you wanted it to. You can make it look like lots of different kinds of, of insects. Um, so this is a great project, an easy one and a quick one that you can do and one that you can do lots of different kinds of. So I hope that you get to make your whirly twirly buzzing insect project and I hope that you have a lot of fun. If you do make it, please make sure to take a picture of it and post it online um, under this video so that we can see it and all share and how great your Whirly Twirly Buzzing projects are. Thank you for joining us today for our Whirly Twirly Buzzing Insect Projects and I hope you have a good day.